Hey guys, in this video, I'll be going over a common question that's asked in the SEO industry, which is, are links still effective in 2018? And should you still build them? So before I get into this video, my name is Kes, and I work for a digital marketing agency called ClickDo. And what I do is rank websites on the first page of Google. So let's get straight into this video. So a link to a, so are links effective? Well, first of all, what is a link or a backlink? Well, a link is simply a domain linking to your domain, right? A website linking to your website, right? That's all a web, that's all a link is. So we've got this website and this website, and you would simply link to another website. That's all it is, literally that simple. Uh, nothing special, nothing fancy. However, um, this is how websites would rank and all it is is a link is simply a vote of confidence to another site so the more votes you have the better you're going to rank in the google search engine ranking pages so the way it would work in the 2000 era the way people were ranking their websites was literally sending an, an insane amount of links to their website so literally what they would do is create a post put some content on there and it wasn't even great or helpful content what SEOs would do is something called keyword stuffing so let's just say they were trying to rank for um, a keyword for um, pizza right they're just trying to rank for that let's say um, in the article these are the best pizzas if you want to get the best pizzas go to this best pizza place and you will find the best pizzas and as you can see um, or as you can hear um, they're saying pizza a lot which is basically stuffing their keyword into the content. And that's what they would do first. That, that's the kind of article that they would put up. And the next step they would take is to build links. So literally, they would set up a spam tool, right? Something like GSA. And what they would do is completely spam this um, website or page with backlinks, right? These weren't even high quality or even links coming from relevant websites. They were just kitchen sink spam and they would send it to their page with a rich anchor text and it would end up ranking. And this will, what this is how you would rank a website back in um, times like 2003 and 2008, right? Pretty simple. And now Google is a lot more sophisticated and the way you rank is a lot different. You can't do something like that, right? It's not as simple as that. The way you would rank or is it still effective which is um, in short I'm not going to go over any case studies um, just to quickly summarize are links still effective yes they are still effective in 2018 however they're not as effective as they used to be like I gave in this example you can't just get by a tool for like 80 pounds and they just send a ton of links to your websites what's going to happen if you do that is you're going to get penalized because you're spamming google's algorithm and what's because you're spamming google and that's against their terms of service and your website will get de-indexed and you won't even show up on their platform right so don't do that so there are, are other ranking factors there are a ton out there however the most relevant ones are user experience and the other one is on page seo right on page seo all right i'll just leave out that I'm drawing on a laptop right it's pretty awkward now user experience is simply things like page speed um images videos uh even infographics which are basically big images um text like uh, you don't want big blocky text you want broken up easy to absorb text and a low bounce rate you don't want users to click on your website and then just back away straight uh, straight away what's going to happen if they do that is google will notice and they'll actually decrease your site's rankings so that's user experience in a nutshell right having a user experience because the whole point of google is to help users um, find what they're searching for if you're not doing that then you're not going to rank it's as simple as that on page SEO and simply optimizing optimizing your page for the keyword you want to rank for right um, and we'll go over that in a second right so these are the two things that you want to keep in mind and what's going to happen 
after you have got the user experience down, you make your website look pretty, um, you pull up the images, you've got good load speed. What you would do next is do the on-page SEO, so like the titles, the description, the URL structure, all that good stuff. Then you can go ahead and publish your article, index it, and then you would typically see if you've done the, the on-page right, you will see it in the top 10 pages or even the top five or even in the top three pages, right? And the next step would be to build links, right? That's when you would build links, right? So you would build high quality, authoritative, and links that make sense. So you would, so if you had a bodybuilding website, you wouldn't get a link from a video game website that just wouldn't make sense. You would get it from another bodybuilding website or a link from a health related website, right? Links that make sense. And contextual links are more powerful. So all a contextual link is a link within the within the article, right? Um, there are other links like footer links or sidebar links. Um, however, you want the vast majority of your links to, to come from within the article. You want the link from within the article linking to your website, right? So you want high quality links. And this could be web 2.0s, uh, guest posts, even blog comments and forum links just to diversify uh, your link profile. And what's going to happen is you're going to notice your uh, rankings increase over time. Um, also bear in mind another ranking factor is actually time funny enough so as time goes on you're just going to rank better um, because age um, increases your domain authority right so that's pretty much it in a nutshell so the answer to the question is building links in 2018 still effective yes it is however there are a ton of other ranking factors the uh, two ones that the two of them I'm talking about today is user experience and on-page SEO. However, however, there are more um, more ranking factors, and if you want to understand these ranking factors and you want to and you want to understand more of them, what I would recommend is you go to the click do page SEO training course and actually check out this course because we actually show you in here how to build the uh, how to build high quality links step by step. So there are entire full in-depth video tutorials in te um, in-depth guides for you to actually follow and you can actually build these links and we actually explain to you how to uh, how to understand the um, user intent as well. So people um, search based on intent. So it could be things like navigational, transactional, informational, all that type of stuff you'll need to understand for effective search engine optimization. So this course, if it loads, okay, so it's only $67, right? That's really cheap for an entire SEO course. So you can check it out. So you can just come to this uh, URL, um, www.clickdo.go.uk forward slash SEO training course. And you can just see, like I mentioned early on, URL structure. Um, it teaches about high authoritative backlinking, um, web 2.0s, um, content writing, um, a ton of different stuff. So if you're serious about ranking on Google, then go ahead and check it out. And I'll be producing a video like this every day. So if you're interested, uh, make sure to come back to the click do uh, click do blog every single day and you'll find more relevant and helpful content. I'll see you guys in the next video.